I want to tell you a story about a guy named William Krause Jr. He goes by Bill, and Bill is probably the most successful angler I have ever heard about in my entire life. How successful, you might be asking. 90,000 fish. 90,000. That's a lot. I want to tell you that story, but first I want to jump into the actual build of this while I give you the stats on the most incredible fly fishing career you've ever heard of. Alright, so Bill started recording all of this when he was 16 years old in high school. Now, what does recording look like? Well, he would actually document the date, time, stream, species, size, fly, and hook size in every single catch in little germs since he was in high school. To put things in perspective, it takes some work to get going in the fly fishing game and figure out what you're doing. So his first 100 fish year was in 1970. Now his first 1,000 fish year was 13 years later in 1983. And the very next year in 1984, he managed his first 2,000 fish year. He's trending upwards with this, as you can see where it's going. And from 1996 to 2018, he had at minimum 2,500 fish landed per year. That's nuts. If this is all sounding like a crazy fish tale, let's break down with some stats here. He has had 579 days on the water with 50 plus fish in the net. Now, that's wild, but he has had 113 days of 100 plus fish. We're getting up there and he even managed one day out of all those years of 200 fish landing. In all those years, after all those fish recorded, there have only been two fish on that list that were not caught on flies that he tied. And part of that record, only 198 of those fish were actually caught on other than fly fishing gear. And that all was pre-1979. So, fly fishing works. burning stuff in my eyes the fish is looking really good we got scales all over the place I mean the whole thing that's like an hour and 45 minutes worth of scale done right there now it is on to making the remaining fins and I'm gonna try something new that I've never done before and that is Lexan polycarbonate fins so I'm actually gonna make some fins from plexiglass and cut them out and form them and see how it goes worst case I end up with wood fins but hopefully this works Just using the coal wood wood burner to warm my lap up because it's freezing out here. Adding some detail to these fins. I'll probably touch up the tail and we're good.
The sculpt wood looks really good and now I'm touching up around the eye and going through and sanding with 180 grit on the rest of the fish. And then we're getting ready for the seal coat. 320 grit is as fine as I'll go on a carving like this. Now that the sealer's in, it's hardened and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and figure out the pose I want this in and well, I'll put some primer to it. So as I'm getting closer to paint, I'm getting a little more nervous because, well, this gentleman has caught 90,000 fish in his life. That, that means he's going to look at this pretty darn closely and be a good judge. So I'm going to sand a little bit closer. Yeah. update you in real time on what actually this looks like. You've been in fast forward for a while. that was a lot of time lapse even for the guy doing it so thanks for sticking with me on the paint job of this little brown trout things are looking really good i got every single scale you saw me burn earlier i have re-tipped with either gold pen or silver pen it's looking good Things are looking great, and now I'm going to go ahead and blend those scales in. So the detail will come through, the, the sheen, I'm just going to add a little bit of a top coat, and then go back in hand paint to finish. Then it's on to the actual finish. There's a lot of steps in Little Brown Trout. It's really cool. It's one of my favorite times, and that is putting finish on. So I'm gonna get some nice glossy urethane on this thing, lots of coats of it, build up, nice light coat to start off. So I'll show you that now. All right, so I wanna do a huge shout out to my buddy Ray for hooking me up with a stack of just absolutely stunning maple. This stuff was originally slated for guitar blanks, so the veneer that goes on guitars. And wow, it is amazing. So. I'm excited to make one of these beauties the backer plate for the fish carving. I think it's going to be amazing and the detail we'll put into it will make it even just pop even more. Things are coming along really well. I just got my plaque back and the fish will mount to this. Came out amazing. The laser engraving by Bay Engraving here in Bellingham looks phenomenal and uh, couldn't be happier. I think he's gonna love it. So now it's on to some final sanding and then finish. Now it's probably a golden rule that after five coats of finish on anything it'll look better, especially gloss, but you know, I'm pretty darn stoked on how this turned out. Now, I still have to mount the fish to the backer plate. That's going to be a little tricky because I had an idea, and every time I have an idea it means a lot of work. Wow! That was close! But I think this is going to be worth it and the owner is going to be stoked. So I'm going to go and find a beautiful piece of figured maple. I'm going to get to whittling, and then sanding, and then finishing again, and then mounting this fish, and we'll call this one done. Oh, 
That was stressful. One of the coolest parts about these carvings is I get to capture someone's story. And this one, though it's a smaller fish, has an incredible story to tell. 90,000 fish to the net. Bill is a master at what he does. Congratulations on a lifetime achievement. As we wrap this one up, I just wanna say thank you so much for following along and liking and subscribing to the channel. It means a ton. And to say thank you, I love to highlight folks who get in touch with me via Instagram or on email. And on this one, I wanna give a shout out to Clive. So Clive reached out via email and let me know that he was working on some carvings after watching my Catch to Carve series and it inspired him to create these carvings. Clive just retired as a British Columbia natural resource officer and I don't know about you, but I think that's an awesome retirement plan. So Clive, thank you so much for reaching out. My channel is all about sharing stories and I love it when folks reach out to me via email, which I'll put in the about tab on my channel main page or via Instagram and share your stories with me if, if these videos have been of help to you. It means a ton. So thanks for watching.